Greetings to everyone out there and welcome back to Around the Clock. Alright everybody, Sega just made a big announcement about the future of the Sonic Frontiers franchise. This news comes directly from Takashi Lazuki, head of the Sonic team in a brand new interview with The Sector. And he was first asked this question. Sonic Frontiers is set to set a new template, just like Sonic Adventures did in 1998. What does this mean for the game and players? And here's his response. Yes, you are right, just like Sonic Adventure, our goal for Sonic Frontiers was to create a game that will be the cornerstone for future Sonic games. It is a brand new approach for the franchise, but we have been conscious to honor Sonic's roots as well. The game still needs to feel like a Sonic game. Now, he was also asked this as well. The response of the players was not the best before launch. What did you learn from it? And he answers with this. I am always very keen to hear player feedback as it helps us evaluate what is resonating with players. And of course, we always want to meet fan expectations. It is always ambitious to evolve the gameplay of any series, especially for such an established franchise like Sonic the Hedgehog, but I am proud of the game we have created. So there you all have it. Straight from Takashi Lazuki, Sonic Frontiers will be the cornerstone of all Sonic games going forward. Now of course, we are still going to get these 2D Sonic games, but as far as the 3D Sonic games, Sonic Frontiers is the base for all of those games moving forward and I am happy to hear this. Now, I have to be honest, when I first saw the gameplay for Sonic Frontiers, I was kind of freaked out because what IGN showed us was kind of weird, but when you get the game and you start running around and exploring the worlds, yes, the combat is very understandable and the gameplay is incredible, and I highly recommend this to anyone who hasn't played Sonic Frontiers as of yet. Now, it was just about a week ago that Sonic Frontiers director Morio Kishimoto described this game as a global playtest and a lot of people took what he said out of context because they thought he meant that Sonic Frontiers the game itself is a global playtest to see how it runs for players. No, what he meant was that this game was a global playtest as a test run to see how players like this game and see if they will move with this formula moving forward for future Sonic games, possibly Sonic Frontiers 2 or 3. So hey, I'm happy that Sonic Frontiers is the base for the future Sonic games and I can't wait to see what they have in store for the future of the Sonic Frontiers franchise. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video and what are your thoughts on everything discussed here? Please let me know down in the comment section and please don't forget to like this video, share this video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and as always remember to keep it locked here to around the clock where here we focus on Nintendo news content around the clock. I'll catch you guys in the next video.